I'm in Norway. Let's go explore. My Airbnb guest gave me this. I think this is like the Norwegian Kit Kat. Now this is just yeah, <laughs> Norwegian Kit Kat. <laughs> Let's go explore Norway, man. Can confirm this is very slippery. No. Okay. 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 I definitely picked the wrong pair of trainers for this occasion. At least this is some salt in the roads, but dang. I need to walk very carefully because even this part, don't get it twisted, it's very slippery. So yeah, let's go explore Oslo. Cool, so this is the opera house. That don't look like an opera house, not like the one I've seen on Sydney, but yeah, paying views, man. Is that a Fjord cruise thing? Ooh, I'm gonna have to pick one of them up. But yeah, hang place, man. So nice. Really nice place. So there's a building called Munch. Damn, man. For a place that's supposed to feel like minus three degrees, it really don't feel like that. It's just nice, open, clean air on that London air. London is musty after realizing coming to here. Yeah, man, I don't know what that place is, but I want to explore it. Maybe do like a hide and seek video there or something. Usually when I go on holidays, I like to do a stadium tour because it's interesting because I like football. So now I think I found one. Again, got to be very careful. Might be slippery and all sorts, mate. Damn. There we go. Tinti Arena, home of, uh, well, I don't know what the team's name is, I think it's Valerengo or something like that. I only know that because of FIFA, I swear I'm not going to act like I'm a genius. I only know it because of FIFA and that's it. Come on, let's time to explore. <laughs> so much more. <laughs> Snow everywhere, mate. England, take notes, please, for residential lists. Please. Fifth etage, I think that means first floor. What does it do? I'm genuinely, like, taking baby steps. I feel like I have to walk as a child, like the way ch children do when they take little steps, because the roads are so damn icy. And because it's nighttime as well, it's even more cold. Firstly, the roads are still icy. They put, like, some some black grit, some black salt, which helped a lot. But yeah, man, let's go to the train station. Let's go back into the city center, see what I want. Cool, one thing I realized about Norway and Oslo, there is no nightlife. I'm literally walking around the streets of Norway uh, well, I say nowhere, the streets of Oslo, sorry. And there's literally no nightlife. These men don't do nothing after about 8 pm, 7 pm. They go home. Damn. So, what does that mean I'm gonna do? Just gonna get food, go home. Not much more today, today. tomorrow. Oslo Fjord. Let's go. Allah, this is look, Neddy. Look, at, look what I need to do to get downstairs. I feel like I'm literally. One wrong step and I could really, God forbid, no, who knows what could happen, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. So cool that it's snowing, man. You barely get to see six snow in in England, but this is vibes, man. So cool. Pan law, man. So amazing. <laughs> Gonna try getting one of them cruise tours, the Fjord cruise tours. Uh, I'm hoping to get, I think, the sunset one, which is out too, because the sunset is so early. But yeah. Pops. Rising to shine, people. It's a snowy day in Oslo. Then again, nothing new. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to go on the Oslo Fjord tour today. Despite the weather, they still do the tours pretty much all day long. Uh, all year long, apart from public holidays. So, yeah, Oslo Fjord tour it is. Come, as you know, come here. I promise I'm not gonna bite. Come. Oh, the Fjord Cruise is here. Yes, let's go. And apparently, this is fully electric. Matting. Okay, I'm at the top of the boat. I'm gonna have to try to see as much as I can from here. It's no, I don't know why I'm running, but good enough. I want to see more. Damn. Also, actually, very nice. Man. So basically, over day, people actually live in those little huts. It's nuts. Is it costly? Because I'm intrigued because living there looks comfy but also looks like the scene before. Okay. So I've done the fjord tour, walking through, and then I see some Buckingham Palace look-alike thing here. Let me go explore that. I'm just wandering the random streets of Oslo and then I see this gasoline alley, you know. <laughs> solo a lot nowadays um, a lot of people find it awkward I, I did find it very awkward at first but after my trip to Canada early this year I just realized solo traveling is so fun like it really is fun and I could learn a lot do a lot and yeah I've learned a lot by myself I've learned a lot of what I can do a lot of what I can't do and I'm just looking forward to what the future holds um, I know my bed's a mess but I'll fix it um, but nonetheless it is really an experience if you want to get out of your comfort zone do go travel alone um it may be daunting at first but once you've done it uh, that fear just disappears honestly um unless obviously you have different conditions like anxiety or you know stress disorders then obviously please go with somebody and enjoy those experiences with a friend or a family member but if you are a person who is lucky and fortunate enough to you know be in a positive position in life then yeah, please, 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 please just go explore the world because there's so much to learn, there's so much to enjoy, and so much to get yourself immersed in. And yeah, like I did like yesterday, I like, was just walking around Oslo, I went and visited like, you know, the fjords, the Oslo fjords. Um, it was really an eye opener, obviously. And it just let me think that one day maybe I could have a house like that in some part of the world. But um, yeah, let's go explore some museums, let's go get cultured. And um, Let's just enjoy the last day, the last full proper day of tourism that we've got in Oslo. The weather doesn't really help when I want to go exploring and stuff, but it's pretty cool. I'm on some like, I don't know what, some harbour type thing called Aka, uh, Aka Bridge or something like that. I don't know how you say it. Um, but yeah, some like bougie establishment place where there's obviously a donny riding a horse and then scenic stuff down there or some sort. So yeah, enjoying it. Just having a little walk about to Venice museums. Yeah, I loved them. There's only one free museum, the rest you gotta pay like 150, 200 kroner to get in, which is like 12 to 18 pounds. Not doing that, mate. None at all. Just to clarify, people actually dive off this and go swimming. Norwegians are brazy. Allah, they're brazy.
any day you want to rainy day. Fifth etage. Fifth uh, etage, I think that's how you say. doing all my video tour stuff uh, that's me uh, pretty much exploding Oslo as much as I could um, obviously weather didn't really help that much but it is what it is made the most of the journey here I'm very grateful to have got a uh, final holiday in for the year that's holiday number five of the year sorted done and dusted thank you so much for watching make sure you like subscribe and share see you soon